Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, I don't think this episode is going to be as eventful as the previous few, like end boss team, beating the dragon. This episode, I plan on turning this area into something that actually looks good. I'm going to have wheat, wheat farm, carrot farms, potato farms, get into like a chicken coop, pig pen, a cow pen, just do little things where I can always have a source of food, source of leather. Um, and then again, source of trading items, especially when it comes to carrots, potatoes and wheat. Just do little things around this area to make it look good. Like the whole area up around me as well. So that'll take a little bit more mining so I don't think I've got any more coal. But yeah, the plan for this episode is to sort, of like sort this area out, make it look good, get everything lit up. That is cranking by the way, I've got plenty of items in there. And in between episodes, I did end up going and get my four shulker boxes of items because I really need it. I kind of wish I did it before now, but I didn't have the rockets just purely because I did have one where I already collected a lot of stone to make that. It's fine as cobblestone for now, you can't notice it from here anyway. So it's not too big of a deal, even if I zoom in. Yeah, I suppose if you can zoom in, you can tell, but it's fine for now. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do first, but it's... Well, I will clear out all the weeds, get everything lit up so I'm not getting attacked constantly, and then, yeah, I'll start making a few things around here. Well, I've done a pretty good job at lighting up the area. All this is lit up. Some of the mountain areas are lit up as well, but I'm definitely going to get spawns up on top. I use about two and a half stacks of torches, and it wasn't enough to do everywhere I wanted to, but at least it'll do for now. I'm going to get no spawns in here, so that's the main thing I want. The first thing I'm going to build is probably like the cow barn which is going to go here i've already dug out a bit of an area i've got a design i will link it in the description but yeah let's get building well i'm really unsure why white levels are showing on the replay mod just purely because i didn't even have them turned on in game i think next time i do a replay mod i'll test it first to see if they appear but yeah that's just really weird We have it a nice little cow barn. I think it's just going to be for cows. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it, but we've got plenty of room to rummage around inside. I'll keep all these closed so they can't get out. I may open this up and have a little area out front for them to come out if I want to, but for now I'm quite happy with how it is. Again, I'll share this design in the comment in the description, but yeah, I quite like it. I think I'll do maybe like a chicken coop here. And then maybe something for some sheep. They're the only really farm animals I want to make a place for. Because obviously cows for leather and stuff like that. Feathers are always a decent thing for making arrows if I do go down that route. And I think there's a village what also trades for them. So that's the main reason I'm going for chickens. And also it's just nice to have a chicken coop. And then obviously I want to do a sheep farm. Anyway, so I have a nice little sheet pen or something like that will also be good. I'm going to look at designs for chicken coops now. Get a design. I'll link that in the description as well. And then gather the materials and we'll start building. I might have to terraform a little bit here a little bit. But it's quite easy to do, I suppose. But yeah, I'm going to look at designs. I'll gather the materials and then we'll get building. There we have it, a nice little place for some chickens. I'm definitely going to add some 
Lantern Suicide of Jesus light up the area a little bit. If I can place it, there we go. I'll try and get all four corners out and get me some more lanterns though. But yeah, I quite like this. I'm definitely going to do some more details, especially to the ground. And I kind of want to integrate some of the deep slate into this as well. I'll probably have a mess around with that a bit later, maybe do it in between episodes, but I might also have it, try to have it done by the end of this episode. Yeah, nice little area for chickens. I want to do a sort of bit of an area like this around that as well for the cows to come out of there. And this isn't a bad design for it, so I may do something similar just to keep them like consistent. Yeah, nice little area for them to come into as well, come out here. So, yeah. I think the next one I might do is something for sheep because that's the other like animal I want to farm, especially for wool. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room here, but I can always bring them up to here. Have a nice little cow farm, like cow pen or whatever, cow barn or whatever, something up here. I could even do another one of them, but I may do something different just so everything here is just not the same. So that's another thing that I'm going to have a look for designs for. But yeah, so far... It's coming along nicely. I do want to do paths between everything, so I'm going to have a path, I like terraform this a bit better, have a path going up and around, connecting all this together. Same with the sheep farm, well, the sheep pen, and then the plan for the wheat, carrots, and potatoes for now is just do like just a little patch for each. But then eventually, when I start getting villagers, I'm going to make it into like and put a villager in there. And get them auto taking the carrots, wheat, potatoes into a hopper. And then they'll collect them that way. I don't know if I'll do buildings around it. There's a possibility I will just so it sort of fits in with the rest of it. But yeah, that's the sort of idea for this place. So the next one I'm going to work on will be a sheep pen. Which I think will probably go around this area somewhere. And there we have it, a nice little place for some sheep. Again, I'm going to put a border out here like we have done for the cat, um, chicken coop. And like the same I will do for the cow barn as well. But I like the four sections because I can do like four of each colour of sheep in there if I want to. But it's also just plenty of space for a lot of sheep. I can cram them in there and get wool whenever needed. I've also done a little bit of a crop farm over here it's just this is only temporary until i start getting villagers then i will automate it i am 100 percent not going to automate these not at all there's not there's nothing sinister going to be going on underneath any of these whatsoever um but yeah nice little place for me it makes the area look better already all right just a few little buildings and i'll have something else around here as well with the crop so yeah the little in it area bit is really coming along nicely. I do want to change some of the blocks in both of these to sort of match this a bit more. So probably bring the deep slate in around the top of both of them a little bit. Maybe do the bottoms of these as bevels like we are on here as well. Just little things like that. I need to bring my lanterns in as well because I've run out of iron. So, but yeah, maybe bring a bit of leaves in. I, I want them all different but looking similar if that makes sense so yeah it's definitely changes i'm going to make i might have a look at that in between episodes i'm not 100 sure yet but i think the next thing i might do is bring him a sheep chicken and pig um, and cows and then maybe look see if i can find a village get some villages in here and maybe make these up as well well then there we have it nice little oops a nice little crop area I've only done it as carrots and potatoes because I kind of remembered that 
you have to have rails, a rail system and stuff like that for wheat and beetroot. So for now it is just potatoes and carrots on both sides. Uh, there is a village just a little bit over that area, so that's where I've got my villagers from. And I also grabbed a few extras and we seem to have just con congregated into this little area here as well. But yeah, I've got the cows in there now. I've got the sheep in this one. I am currently still breeding them up because I do want more staying in there. And also some chickens down there. I think the next thing I want to do is just get more of a temporary villager, breeder and iron farm. And I remember Impulse SV doing one in his hardcore world, so I'm going to find that video. I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet, because I, I sort of have plans for this middle area. I think I want to do a bit of a fountain, with everything sort of like coming off of it, pathways all the way around. So, with it just being temporary, I think I may just do it in that corner, just keep it out of the way for now. Because later on, I do plan on making a big iron farm somewhere within the base. And I also want the villager breeder because at some point I do want to get librarians, masons. And I think what my sort of plan is, that I want my main base sort of be in this area here, like below the mob farm. But man, I want mine just buildings being sort of like built into the mountain, like around me, for different types of villagers. So a bit of like a li library building, a masonry building. I'll probably keep the farmers out here. Just because it makes a lot more sense. But yeah, so masons, librarians, I'm completely blanking on any other useful ones right now. So, sort of buildings embedded into the mountain for my villagers. I'll probably do that with some other things as well, but the main thing I want that for is villagers. So yeah, I think I'm going to get on with the iron farm, well, the iron and villager breeder farm combined. And then we'll sort of discuss what I want to do in terms of the base, I think I'm going to go into this area here, directly below it, have a bit of a, like an entrance area, I want the storage room to be pretty much right next to that, maybe underneath, and then that, after that, I just expand it with areas for the farms, and make each, make a room for each farm, so it isn't just all, just come together, I'll have it all separate and just different rooms for everything. I think I'll have like particular wings for sort of like sugarcane, bamboo, cactus, like them sort of farms. So one side of the one area of the base sort of for that sort of stuff. And then just I can't think of what everything I'm gonna do right now, but that's just one sort of example. So yeah, I'll get on with the iron and villager farm and then we'll start looking into that. Well, there we have it, my nice little temporary iron farm. I didn't end up going with Impulse SV as well, I did, but it, the villagers just kept getting trapped, so it wasn't throwing carrots to the villagers to breed, and then it just also wasn't creating golems. So instead, I've used um, Logical Geek Boys, I've used this before, and it's always worked great. There we go, a little iron golem spawning right there. So yeah, this is just temporary for now, I'll probably use Logical Geek Boys Villager Breeder as well at some point, when I want to start doing villagers. Because I've used that before and I know it works perfectly. But yeah, got some iron on the go now. And I think the next thing I'll probably work on is like this little centre area in the paths. So I say, I think I do want to do a bit of a fountain in the middle. Just to sort of like tie it all together. Then paths lead into everything. One thing I did realise was that this wasn't babies, baby zombie spawn. Baby zombie spawn proof. That's what I'm trying to get out. So I've had to kind of replace these villages of... Two more, well, some of the villagers two more times, but I blocked off with some walls at the bottom, and since then it's been absolutely fine. So, yeah, you live and learn. But yeah, I'm going to probably look at getting a water fountain somewhere in here now, get some paths in, sort of like leading everything together, and then see how the whole like, centre area looks. I will probably do stuff in the future in this area. It's not going to stay as it is, but for now it's coming along pretty nicely. <laughs>
that's even there we have it let's have a look at this from up tall up high even yeah I, I really like the fountain in the middle i like the pathways i haven't quite finished them yet because i'm not a hundred percent sure of the layout of ev where everything's going to be that's definitely going to get built up into a building the sugar king's going to move and the iron farm will more likely be taken down at some point when i build one in the base I'm not 100% sure on this bit yet because how I've done these along the path I haven't done it this way here but I may have a path going off here towards this eventually so I think it'll look a bit better then. I do want to probably at some point put some greenery around maybe the side sort of thing maybe some leaves and some flowers but again until I know the proper layout of everything here I don't see much point in doing that because it's just going to get torn down anyway. I know I want to probably swap out a few of these blocks because it's too samey at the minute in the fountain. So I'll probably just swap them out for maybe some cracked versions of these blocks or maybe the deep slate tiles or maybe just some just normal cobble deep slate. Just something to mix it up a little bit so it doesn't look as bland. So, so sort of make it like the pathways because I think that'll look a lot better. But I'll get to that at some point when I start changing stuff around, around the place. I do quite like these, but I, I'm not 100% set on them like the lampposts. We'll see how it goes, but they could get changed up at some point. But for now, I think the area is coming along really nicely. So, yeah, I think next episode we'll start working on the inside of the base. So I'm going to probably go into this area here, do a nice entrance, and work on a nice like entrance room, which will then lead to a story system, all the farms, and just areas like that. I probably will work on a couple of villages next time just to get a few basic books like mending and unbreaking because I haven't really got that on anything at the minute. So we'll work on that next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next week. Goodbye. There was no, there's nothing sinister going to be going on underneath any of these. There was no, there's nothing sinister going to be going on underneath any of these. There was no, there's nothing sinister going to be going on underneath any of these.